Hey, you! <laughs> Me? Yes, you. Are you tired of being stuck inside with nothing to do? Oh, well, uh, you know, I was... I was just kind of doing some... Well, I think it's time for you to get off your patootie and go and make a work of art. Wow! People can make art at home? Of course they can, you silly Billy. Oh, but I don't have any art supplies. Well, do you have cardboard? Yes. Do you have a pair of scissors? Yes. Do you have a marking implement of some kind? Yes. Then congratulations, you can now make your own work of art. Really? How? Well, let me show you how. The first thing you'll want to do is take your writing instrument and draw on your cardboard to draw out the kind of shapes you want to cut out. Angular, straight shapes will be your best friend, and fewer shapes means that you'll have an easier time for your very first one that you want to do. Then, scissor time. Take your scissors and cut along all the lines that you drew along your cardboard to get all of them separated out into nice pieces. Take your time, of course. Those scissors can be very sharp. And look at all those lovely shapes you've cut out, all just begging to be slotted together into a wonderfully cool abstract sculpture. Let's get started. Now you need to start building your sculpture. Start with any two pieces you really prefer, and decide which ones are going to be your base of your sculpture. Hmm, these two won't work so well. Aha! What about this? Perfect. Next, you take your cardboard and you cut a small slot in each of the pieces that are going to go together, and you slide them together nice and snug. They're not coming out anytime soon, that's for sure. Next, simply repeat this process with every other piece of cardboard you have in your collection, making sure to slot them in as snug and securely as you possibly can. The possibilities really are endless for what you can do here. Heck, you can even take out the pieces that you've already slotted together and put them in in different ways. It's almost like a jigsaw puzzle where the only solution lies in your imagination. Longer and shorter slots will make the pieces either combine more or less. However much you want to do, there is no proper, real, concrete way to do this, as long as you make sure that your sculpture is going to stand up nice and solidly when all is said and done. Tiny little slot. Get in there, you silly goose. Come on. There you go. Look at you. And now, as simple as can be, you have a wonderfully cool-looking sculpture with nothing more than three instruments that you probably have around the house. Wow, this is super cool. Thank you, disembodied video message that somehow invaded my personal life. You're welcome, helpless citizen. Now it is time for me to make my way to the rest of the world and spread the glories of at-home arts and crafts. I go. Wow. What a handsome man that was. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this silly little video of mine, and I hope you enjoyed this little different type of lesson of just, you know, taking something as simple as a piece of cardboard and a pair of scissors and making something pretty cool out of it. You could even, at the end of all this, if you want to make sure it completely stays in place, just put a little bit of glue on each of these joints, it'll lock them in, and really, you could decorate this to your heart's content any way you want to. So, 
have fun, ladies and gents. Stay safe, stay healthy, have yourselves a good day.